Hello, hello, my friends. I am back with another candle review for you this week. This is going to be my final Bath & Body Works candle review for you um, in anticipation of the $12.95 candle sale that is rumored to take place this weekend. I wanted to get all of these reviews out for you so that way you could make an informed choice about whether or not you want to pick up any of these candles if they are in stock or if they are in store at your local store. So, Dark Amber and Oud. This is part of the White Barn Neutrals collection. Um, the fragrance notes on this are dark golden amber, fresh rainwater, and oud wood. Also, I want to just give an apology really quickly. I have been sick with a head cold, so I am just apologizing for my nasally sounding voice at the moment. I can assure you that I can still smell very well, so my sniffer is not off, um, and this review is still going to be a good one. So. Um, what does my nose smell with this? Well, it's really interesting because this is a fragrance that I would not have seen myself picking up maybe a, two years ago, even maybe a year ago. It just goes to show you that our scent preferences can evolve and change, especially if we push ourselves outside of our comfort zone. When I initially smelled this one in store, I liked it but I wasn't so sure about it. And then I saw a sale probably about a month ago now, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and jump. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up. And I am really glad that I did. Now, this is kind of like a hard, I don't wanna say a hard fragrance to describe. If you are somebody that likes woodsy, fresh fragrances, then I would say that this blend is for you. Now, oud wood, oud is kind of like, First off, it's kind of a fun word to say oud. It reminds me of Uhtred from The Last Kingdom. Any other fans of that show, let me know in the comment box down below. Um, he ain't too hard on the eyes either, ladies. So anyways, um, oud is described as being warm, musky, animalic, and slightly sweet, which I would agree with. And then of course, amber is like a warm, powdery, sweet scent. This fragrance to me is um, more in line with what one would consider traditionally masculine, almost cologne type of scent. However, this is a beautiful fragrance to burn for anybody, pretty much, I would say any time of the year. Um, I have been preferring to burn this one on cloudy days, on rainy days like today. I also like to burn it in the evenings. This is a very sexy scent to me. Um, it's there is the sweetness definitely i do smell that oud wood and it's funny that they have a fresh rainwater accord in here because i actually do feel like whatever notes they have put in there to give that accord i do pick up on there is a freshness to this candle but it's not like um it's not like I just cleaned my house freshness. It's like a very fresh nature type of scent. Um, again, this is not a fragrance that I would have naturally gravitated toward in the past, but I am finding myself really enjoying this one. I find that the amber balances out the oud. Now I have, um, I have a sample of the Tom Ford fragrance oud wood and it's funny because I noticed some scent notes in this candle. However, this candle has more of a warmth to it, whereas that fragrance in and of itself is definitely more oud centric. Um, sorry, that's just a really fun word to say. Oud, oud. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, sorry, my, my knee just hit the, the table there. Um, but overall, I really enjoy this fragrance. I would recommend it if you do like woodsy fresh type of scents if that is up your alley then I believe that you will definitely like this one so how has the performance been for me this one I would give a solid medium um the the pro I will give for this is that the wax pool and the wicks this has been the best performing one of all of the blends in my collection the wax pool on this candle has remained pretty clean I also am not getting those huge mushroom top wicks. Um, in fact, I really haven't needed to trim the wicks on this at all. I'm going to go ahead and insert some footage here to let you see for yourselves what the wax pool looks like right now as it is burning. Uh, the flames are nice and high. Um, I am not noticing any sooting. However, I'm not sure that I would because this vessel is a very matte black vessel. I do have something on the front here. I tried wiping it off and I think it's some type of, it's either the, the wick, um, 
some, uh, not wick, the oil residue on the front there, or I don't know what I got on my fingers, but that is a little smudge that is not coming off. But the packaging in and of itself is this very simplistic, clean, matte black look. And this is one that you will definitely want to make sure that you have a timer set if you are somebody who would forget that you would have a candle lit. Um, this one, you're not gonna see the flames going if you have it at a certain angle. Um, very similar to like the Kringle Reserve line uh, jars. You don't really see the flames going on this one unless you have it um, out in the open. So if you're gonna burn this candle in an area that's a little bit more hidden from sight, just make sure that you set a timer to remember to go extinguish, the, extinguish this one, particularly if you are burning this at night before going to bed or before leaving your home. But like I said, medium throw on this one, strength and throw. So I would give it about a six. Um, it performs very well in my bedroom, which is where I'm at right now. And this is where I actually prefer to burn it because I feel like it's a nice bedroom scent. I realize not everybody is like me. There are certain fragrances I smell and I think that's a kitchen scent. That is a morning scent. That is a spring scent. Um, and I actually think that this fragrance is very nice for the springtime because in the spring, we still do get a lot of rainy weather. Um, but this isn't like a fall or winter type of rainy weather. This to me is very fresh. Um, and so that's why I think that this fits with the time of year that this candle has been released. Overall, I would give this candle two thumbs up if you are interested in it, especially if you're planning to pick it up this weekend on a good sale. I want to say if you have your 25% off coupon and that's $12.95, I want to say after tax, you're probably going to be getting out the door with this candle for under $11, which is, is pretty good. Um, spoiler alert, I have picked up another one already. I'm not sure if I will burn it right away after this candle is finished, but Yes, I would highly recommend this one. I find that this candle also blends very well with some other fragrances maybe that are going on in your home. Um, and one of the reasons that I like kind of that it's at that number six is because it's not going to be traveling outside of my bedroom. So for example, today I am actually um, cooking beef stew on my stove and I don't really want you know, a fragrance out there to overcome the natural smells of a yummy stew cooking on the stove. But I actually find that the smell of food cooking in my kitchen and then I walk into my bedroom to this fresh kind of rainwater type of scent, um, it, ha it has been a very nice balance. So I won't go on anymore. Two thumbs up from me. Let me know in the comment box down below. Have you burned this candle? Have you picked it up? Um, is this one that has taken you outside of your comfort zone and you're surprised that you like it? I would be curious to know. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to talk about home fragrance and a little bit of beauty here. Um, I do dedicated reviews, hauls, empties, um, and every once in a while, like a little get ready with me or whatnot. So if you find your in find yourself interested in that type of content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave today. I want to say thank you so much to my returning viewers. Um, you guys are really an amazing community. I love reading your comments and um, just thank you very much for all of your support. I want to say again, thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.